All right, Rob. Um, Rob G, come in here. We we just had Jared Goff get paid. Uh, they didn't have to pay him. Uh, they could have let him play play it out another year, but they went ahead and extended him. It is the season for that. Trevor Lawrence with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Will he get paid? Uh, there are a few other guys out there like Tua, Jordan Love. Rob G, kind of paint the picture. We want to focus on those two, Jordan Love and Green Bay. Tua Tunga Valola in Miami. Uh, Rob G, tell us, kind of summarize their situations as Rob and I get into it. Well, the situation is there's not a whole lot going on with either guy because according to several different reports, first off with Jordan Love, ESPN's Adam Schefter was plugged in as anyone, reported earlier this week that while both sides are expected yeah, to continue GMs talking. Are, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I don't want to say it. Didn't want to say it. While they're supposed to be the two sides that will continue talking here throughout the offseason, they are not anywhere close to getting an extension done with Jordan Love. That's for a number of reasons. The biggest one being that he's only started for one season and he's only really played well for half of that. So there is some kind of confusion at both sides as to what the appropriate number would be. Obviously, Jordan Love wants to get paid top of the market. Especially be, coming off that playoff given the win, way that he played right? the In season. Dallas, Chris, right? like that's the one, if you're his agent, that's Jordan Love right yeah, there. Exactly. Did you see what he right. did in Dallas? And and right. Well, and, we, we, didn't, we didn't see that all year. Let's like, not let's like keep it real. And Green right. Bay, obviously, is a little hesitant. So that's number one. On the flip side, down south in Florida, in Miami, Tua Tungavailoa has played very well, actually, the last two seasons. Um, unfortunately, last year he almost had to retire due to concussion issues. This season, he played the entire year, which is a big step for him. But as we've well documented, struggled against the good teams and struggled in cold weather. So according to CBS Sports, Tua, who has been one of the forefront guys in the offseason as the quarterback, he's a very strong leader, has usually always led a lot of OTAs and player workouts, things of that nature. According to CBS, though, he's missed most of the voluntary OTAs this offseason as the two sides are trying to negotiate a new contract. Again, he would like to be paid near top of the market. The Dolphins, given his injury history, given his you know struggles against some of the better competition, are hesitant to do that. So both sides are kind of at a stalemate right now, which got me thinking. Here's the question. Start with you, Chris. Of the two, Jordan Love and Tua Tungavailoa, which one would you feel more comfortable extending Ooh. right now? Well, honestly, I wouldn't want to extend either right now. Um, I just keeping it real. Like you said, Jordan Love is only, he was phenomenal. And that's not an overstatement over the second half of the season. All right. He, he just was, he was great. And obviously in that playoff game against Dallas, you couldn't ask for more, right? You go into Dallas where they were 16 and one, over the last, you know, two years at home, and obviously they're the heavy favorite. You're leading the youngest team in to make the playoffs in like 50 some odd years. And you go in there and you get that W. So he was great over the second half of the season. As I said, right, his last what what is it? Let's see. Uh his last like nine games or something like that. What is it, Rob? It was like here. Here's the stat that his agent is pimping out to anyone who will listen, including ESPN.com. According to the over the final eight regular season games, eighteen touchdowns, one interception. The team was six and two. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers types numbers. All right. Um, that said, it's a half a year, and I I would want to see more. Tua, my tune hasn't changed on him. He's had one fully healthy season. Now, he has won when he's played. I will give him that credit and that respect. But he's had one fully healthy season, and that was last year. And even in last year, they beat up on a bunch of tomato cans. They were one in six against playoff teams. They He's never won a game in, forget cold weather, a tad brisky. All right, 45 degrees and under, he ain't winning, or at least he hasn't yet, ever in his career. And in most seasons, you're going to have to win in some cold, frigid weather to reach a Super Bowl. And so, again, because of the health concerns, because I still, you know, I want to see how we do against some of the better teams. I'm not putting it all on him. But 
he's a part of it, a, a good part of it. I want to see another year. And now I'm not mad at Tua for kind of, okay, let, let, you know, I'm going to do things a little differently now, put a little heat on y'all. I'm not mad at him for that because he, he should try to get the contract. I'm just saying if I'm the Dolphins, I am not completely, completely sold on him yet. And so I wouldn't pay either. But if I got to pick one, I would pick, this is going to probably surprise you, Rob, because he does have the lesser track record as far as time. I would pick Jordan Love. My eye test likes Love better. That's me. My eye test likes Love better. I think Tua's arm strength is a little in question. Um, And then, of course, there's the health issues, durability. So, yeah, if I have to pay one, it would be Jordan Love. Yeah, I I disagree. And I think Tua last year, that was the big year for me. Staying healthy all year. Uh, some of the other stuff, I mean, we could take a look. We talk about the cold weather and what the what the record is. He's not the only one playing. I don't know in those games, Chris. Uh, did the defense give up 40 points? Do we know what the scores no. were in those games? I mean, so I, I, I can't really look at that and just say it's only on him. There's 22 guys playing. So uh, um, the Jordan Love, it's just a small sample size. At the beginning of the season, the first half of the season, there were people saying, oh, we don't know what we, what we got here. Uh, maybe that's why the, the people were saying, no wonder the Packers didn't want to extend him because they didn't know what they had. And early on, there were those bad games. And, and he did catch fire at the end. But you never know. I, I'd have to take a look um, at some of the competition in some of those games where they beating the bad Bears, beating some other teams. I, I don't know what the schedule was. Chris at that point um, but I do think that last year for me it was Tua durable can he stay healthy what they winning games and 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 we know the 70 points fluke whatever you want to call it just it was just one of those eye-opening moments where you saw we've seen him have the comeback ability we two years ago when they came back against Baltimore on the road and what was the other game they had one other game where that furious comeback as well so there's some things that I really like, and once you gave him some uh, big receivers and stuff, he was able to make make things happen. So, you know, could he get hurt? Sure he could. You know, that that's just something that you're going to have to roll the dice with. But had he been hurt at all last year, Chris, or he didn't have the whole season, you know what I mean, then then I would really pause. I would, I would be more uh, – I would be more frightened to sign him to a longer term so deal. So one, one healthy season out of four is good enough for Yeah, com- coming that it's the most recent one, not that it was Golly. the first one. I mean, if you're telling me out of the two, who would I pick? I'm just saying I would I would pick Tua uh, because Jordan Love, just his body of work isn't long enough for me. But you're ready. Like, so are and you they, with and, me in that you would rather not, like, Ideally, you're not re-signing either no, yet. No, no, no. I'd sign. But you're ready to sign too. Yeah, and here's the other thing with the Jordan, which to me speaks volumes. It really does because we talk about this all the time. The price only goes up. Oh, right? no, right. It only goes up. Absolutely. So if they really, after watching him for four years as a backup and in practice, and I, it's different from a game, Chris. Don't, I'm not – but you get to see more – of him. You know what I mean? You've watched him yep. and you've watched him. And at that point, they could have come up with a deal that he would have gladly signed, you know, without big money because you're giving it to him before he even plays that first full season. You know what I mean? Like, if you really were like, we, this guy is good. We know he is. And if, if he stays healthy, we know we got something. You pay him because he'll take less money on an unproven year, you know, on, on right not, now, no, before the season, oh, yeah, like no, when, it, when right they had now. a chance. I don't think not they should have paid him before the season. No, I'm just saying you didn't know if they didn't know, and that's what I mean. They didn't know. Yeah, I, but I, I hear you. I look, Jordan Love's not in a, a really bad situation. Neither of them is because I get it. They want security, right? And they should. It's football. I mean, you could get injured any at any play. point, and that Absolutely. and that's why I'm not mad at Tua either with no, with I'm the stuff. Because you go there right. and get hurt, now what? You know what I mean? Like, like well, I get right. it. But that's why if I'm the Dolphins, I wouldn't give it to him. But I hear you. I mean, I, I think he's doing. You know, I, I'm not mad at his strategy. But 
yeah, Rob, I I don't look, if they don't sign Jordan Love this year and he plays 90% of the way he did in the second half of that last season. And he look, people are expecting big things from Green Bay as they should. They're going to he's going to benefit. I mean, Green Bay is going to have to ante up and give the dude big money. So, you know, he's got to go out there and, and he's not in a terrible situation as long as he stays healthy. But to arrive, see, to me, the, the thing, and again, it's partly the health, but not just. Like, I need to see him. And we talk, we used to talk about this with Dak, Rob. What'd he do against the good teams? And two of last season, Rob, 10 and one against losing teams. They averaged 35 points a game, and his numbers that's were a phenomenal. Lot of, that's a lot of games against losing teams. I mean, right. 11 that's games. 11 of their games. Right. right. But, but if he had a bad record against them, that's what I would no, be I, afraid I, of. But I, I like a few wins against some good teams. He's one, he was one in six against teams with a winning record. And he scored just 16 points a game. And his numbers went way down. T- touchdown interception ratio plummeted. Yards per game, passer rating, they all plummeted against the top competition. And that was our concern with Dak for a lot of years. Like, well, he's beating up on these bad teams, but how's he looking against the really good teams? I got the same questions about Tua. What? And I would not be in a rush to lock him up because, look, Team and they this they signed these guys well before the stage we're at now with Tua, but Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, uh, in, which the Rams ended up you know at least in their minds regretting. Obviously they traded him. You know, want him get another contract deals. though? No, I mean, no, I, I don't. I you and I think Goff is better than the Rams do. No, absolutely. You know, but I'm I just that, saying I they, they felt blamed like everything on him, and I thought that wasn't right. I just, yeah. They, they felt like it. Look, they it worked out for them. They it got did. a Super it Bowl out of staff. Yep. But we've seen guys get the contract. Kyler Murray, right? You and I both were like, ain't no way we're I paying thought, him I yet. thought that was premature, especially right. Chris. Remember that playoff game he came off of? Yeah. I, I was just like, wow. And then the stuff Smart he did. Smart on season. his part, right? To get him to, to he pressure him into signing. He, he pouted like crazy. Yeah. Only thing, here was a tour last year, led the league in passing, 4,000. 624 yards, ranked top five, Chris, in completions, touchdowns, and uh, first downs. So he has some numbers that he well, could can, can put out there. Terrific weapons uh, and a really good play caller and, and head coach of Mike McDaniel. I'm not saying this, saying I never pay him, but I, I, I just want to see more. I haven't seen enough. And, um, you know, we'll see what, what each of them does this season. But I would take love. You would take Tua. 